And that was my guest, Kevin Goatee. It's plain as the hair on your face. Yeah, I wish I could grow a goatee. I remember when I first got out of the military, that was like my primary objective. I wanted to dag on grow facial hair because for 16 years, I was denied the privilege of having a, a lofty and luscious mane of hair on my face. And then I was compensating, too, because I can't grow it up top. So I was like, well, I know I can grow this bitch plush as hell on the bottom. <laughs> but uh, check out all of his shows to include comics, watching comics, uh, gutting the sacred cow, uh, which um, he co-hosts with uh, Kevin Israel, which who was a guest on the Delvin Cox show, which I asked this motherfucker to be on my show first and they ain't never heard back from his ass, but that's another story. I'm not holding any grudges or judgments or anything, but it is what it is. <laughs> and um, he, he had another uh, sports fantasy show. I'm using the phone to record myself so I can't look up this information to give it to you proper, but in the show description, you can um, look up his profile on either Facebook. I'm not Facebook. I'm sorry. Uh, Twitter or Instagram. And it has all the links to all his projects and all the things that he's doing. So once again, I appreciate Kevin Goatee for giving me his time and being a guest on my show. Oh, man. Um, a lot of shit is going on. Uh, everybody know about the coronavirus shit. I ain't even talking about that, but. Where has all the toilet paper gone? It almost reminded me of the damn. Um, <laughs> was that was that a country song? Where have all the cowboys gone? Is that a country song, or am I just I don't know. Anyway, but where has all the toilet paper gone? Where has all the freaking water gone? It's it's disappeared because everybody worried about the coronavirus. The only goddamn thing that I'm worried about is is my plane ticket. <laughs> And my WrestleMania ticket still valid. You know, is they going to cancel it as of now, as I record, as I record this and put it out to you all, uh, March 14th, um, WrestleMania is still a go for April 5th in Tampa, Florida. And um, they just buy in time from what I have seen on the Internet. I don't know this to be fact, but just things that I've glanced over. I haven't did any heavy research that um, Florida and uh, WWE got together, I think it was yesterday, the 13th, Friday, the 13th of all days, to decide if they were going to go ahead and continue with the WrestleMania festivities. So from what I've looked over and what the hullabaloo is about, that Florida, the governor or whoever, is leaving it into the hands of the chairman of WWE, one Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So... As of this recording, March 14th, WrestleMania is still a go. Um, they changed some of their programming schedules uh, as far as TV. Last night, SmackDown was held from their performance center down in Orlando, Florida, I believe it is. And it was to an audience of zero. <laughs> so it was a weird aesthetic. I mean, the arena looked good for um, the presentation, but it was just weird seeing professional wrestling with nobody there to watch. And I'm pretty sure some of these guys that came from the independents uh, are used to wrestling with zero <laughs> to nobody in uh, these uh, smaller venues and whatnot. So it might have been comforting in a uh, nostalgic for some of those but it was just weird nonetheless in anything and there's been some fuss online because i believe since you know they didn't have a crowd to play to that when they went to commercial breaks they just didn't wrestle during the commercial breaks i mean they didn't put unnecessary stress on their body because there was no one there live and in person to entertain it's okay i can understand that it's a television show amongst other things you know so i mean i don't give a shit about that you know and if wrestlemania is going on as planned april 5th um save them yeah save they save uh keep them away from injury let them rest up as best as they can you know don't put no more uh unnecessary stress if you do not have to so there you go. It's a win-win. It ultimately is going to benefit us if we still get in the show and whatnot. So, yeah. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, I think that's all I really got. I just 
be careful out there. Don't be touching your goddamn face after you done grabbed a foreign doorknob. <laughs> uh, wash your hands vigorously. Use sanitizer if you have it. Um, yeah, just be careful. Stay inside if uh, you, if that's a, that's the thing that you want to do. I mean, uh, the joke online is uh, introverts are rejoicing at this glorious holiday right now. You know, so enjoy your holiday, people. And uh yeah, I mean, I don't I don't know why I'm recording this right now. Oh, I know why I'm recording the audio. I'm talking about I got video camera in front of me. Uh, I had something to say. Oh, I do. I do recall the thing that I have to say. So March 29th, my birthday, um, we are doing the fourth annual Ask Miss B. Rob. So what that is for those of you who are unaware Mrs. B. Rob comes on the show once a year to uh, celebrate my birthday by answering questions from you, the audience. So you can send her questions about any and everything. So you can ask about us. You can ask about her specifically. You can just ask whatever question that comes to your head and she will answer it live on that special edition of the Random Realms with Rob that we've dubbed Ask Miss B. Rob. So what I am asking of you all, the listeners and the people who may be seeing this video right now is to submit your questions. I might do something fancy and put it up here on the side of me or whatever, since there's a lot of space and opportunity over yonder. But um, there's many different ways that you can submit your questions for this special edition of the show. I think we're shooting for a day of the 25th of this month to try to get it locked down. Um, we might be able to actually do it on my birthday. Yeah, do it on my birthday. Hit the hit the sexy music. <laughs> no, not right now. But um, because I had something planned that weekend. But with this whole coronavirus shit going on, a lot of things got moved around and whatnot. So we might be able to do it properly on my birthday. But if not, uh, I'll keep you updated. But the 25th is what we're going to probably look at to do this episode so have your questions in by the 25th of march so we can answer your questions well she can answer your questions i'll be there in attendance so i might answer some of them but all the questions are for mrs b rob you can ask her a favorite color you can ask her um why uh the back of forest with a connect is a uh, black purple i don't know <laughs> you could ask whatever it is you want no question is off limits and um She'll answer it for you live here on the show. We might even try to do that live. I don't know um, if we're going to do a live video. Probably not. But um, live audio uh, via Podbean or some shit like that. So that's a, even an extra added bonus for you. So, yeah, giggity goo. Anyway, so submit those questions for the Ask Miss B. Rob thing that we're going to have going on i highly appreciate it for those who uh, want to participate and um what else what else is something else oh also speaking of my birthday march 29th your birthday gift to me for my birthday and it's absolutely free it won't cost you anything the only thing that i want is to reach 100 apple podcast reviews by march 29th my birthday and um right now as we sit i am five reviews away from my goal i've been grinding trying to get this shit done and i'm only five reviews away from my goal of 100 apple podcast reviews so if you could Please go ahead and write that review. If you already wrote a review, borrow somebody else's phone and write a review from their phone <laughs> and uh, help your boy out. I'm only five reviews away from the goddamn goal. So that's your birthday gift to me. This free thing for me to have pretty please. And I, I think that's it that I got for news and whatnot. I just did a recording with the Deets Wrestling Podcast, the Royal Navy's only pro wrestling podcast. So it's, it, there's no probably on that if you're listening, homeboy, but it is. So um, check me out on that. That should be out the same day that this episode airs. And um, it was a fun time. We, I think we talked for about 
three or so hours. Um, some of it wasn't um, for the wrestling show property. It was just general conversation while I was doing audio checks. So I suggested that that uh, portion, if he recorded it, <laughs> uh, be bonus materials and whatnot. I might even try to scalp that from him and uh, play it on here. So check that out. Uh, Deets Wrestling, the Royal Navy's only pro wrestling podcast. So uh, check it out. And uh, I got a couple other things that you can just check me out on Twitter at 3R Show. And you can check me out on Instagram at the 3R Show. And you can find some video content on YouTube on the 3R Show YouTube channel somewhere and for everything that I can't think of right now and I may have missed you can go to randomrob.com and um, check out the sponsors Hooks, Rubs and Spices you can go to hooksrubsandspices.etsy.com and you can get 15% off your order by using promo code random you can also go to poddex.com poddex.com and you can get 10% off your order if you use promo code random let's see um i did the episode deck last time i did one of these videos i think i did one question from the interview deck already so let's go do the interview deck second edition let's see what we pulling out the box here pulling out the cards pulling out the cards i'm shuffling it up a little bit just a little bit just a little bit Uh uh-uh uh-uh Almost dropped them. Almost dropped them. I didn't want to play 52 pickup, but I don't think it's 52 cards in here. Let's see. How many cards are here? Look on the back of the box. It's 50 cards. I was only two off. Yeah, the interview deck contains 50 unique conversation starting questions to help you take your podcast interviews to the next level and keep your audience entertained. Boy, that's professional. And the question I have. Would you rather go 30 days without your phone or your entire life without dessert? 30 days without your phone or the rest of your life without dessert? I'm lactose intolerant, (laughs) but I do love a great dessert. Uh, cheesecake um, I, I believe milkshakes and all that stuff fall under dessert so whenever I you know take my lactate medicines and all that stuff and I get the sweet tooth uh, yeah I go 30 days without the phone so that, that's what I'm gonna do and um, that when you have questions like this everybody immediately looking for loopholes and everything and said I can't have my cell phone didn't say I couldn't have my smartwatch. Mm-hmm. Didn't say I couldn't have my tablet, my my iPad, which has a cellular thing in it. So, yeah, I'll give up the phone for 30 days. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a question from the second edition interview deck here from Poddex. You can get you some, add these tools to your toolbox by using promo code random. You can get 10% off at poddex.com. And you know what that means. Check around for any random kids. But yeah, baby, it's time to talk about that one sponsor. You know what one sponsor I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, blue chew, baby. Get what you need to get your wean. Uh, indeed, or something, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, go to bluechew.com. You can get your first order free. Only pay $5 shipping. So you can get that blue chew in you. And you can get you in, I would say her, but it can work for whatever flavor you're, you're craving. You know what I mean? If you like guys, if you're a guy, if that's the thing. You know, Blue Chew can help you out in that situation. Shit, y'all can have a double Blue Chew right there. And y'all can just be all over the goddamn place. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Okay, that, that, that went too far. But anyway, BlueChew.com. You can get your first order free. Just pay $5 shipping and uh, use promo code random to make that happen for you and whatnot. Blue Chew is the thing for you. 
<laughs> so I think I've got all my plugs out of the way. I got uh, I acknowledge the sponsors. Hey, if you can help with those um, last five reviews, if um you can submit those questions. Oh, God. The Corona got me. <laughs> oh, shit. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, let's make that a uh, fourth annual Ask Miss B-Rop episode extra special with your random and outlandish questions. So send them my way and they'll be read. They'll be answered and we'll be better for it all. With, with that being said, this is your boy B-Rob and I'll see you next time.